Wow, wow, wow. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, this podcast thing has been pending for time. Me, myself, I don't even know why. I dragged it out so long, but nevertheless, here we are, man. If you already know me, you know what I'm about. If you've got me on Snapchat, you know what I do. All things banter, rants, and hot topics, bro. Zero filter. If you don't know me, I'm Pemp, aka, you're that guy in it. I thought, you know what? For my first ever episode of my podcast, yeah? What can I talk about? What can I talk about, yeah? That people can relate to, laugh about, cry about, even maybe? I thought, you know what I'm going to talk about? I said, I'm going to talk about you. In fact, yo, hold on. You can tell I'm new to this, innit? Before I even get started, bro, yo, I beg you lot, please drop this video a like, subscribe to the channel. Go, share, support, and back everything, man. I'm going to add the socials here, 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 and everywhere. And yeah, man, I appreciate every single bit of love, man. But now, like I'm saying, yo, I thought, what topic can I speak about that people can relate to? So you know what I thought of? Uni. I call it uni, yeah, because I was in the same category of people that weren't as serious. If you call it university, you already know you're going there to study and them things there. If you call it uni, you're going there for vibes. Vibes, motives, and them things there, bro. But uni, 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 yo, I could speak about uni for time. Because uni, yo, I loved uni, me, fam. I fell in love at uni. Yo, I met some of my best friends at uni. I saw some things that I thought I'd never, ever see at uni. Yo, uni is a mad thing. But I feel like, yeah, people only see the good at uni, fam. You hear what I'm saying? People only see the student more. The motives, the parties, the living independently. Bro, if you got a friend at uni, yeah, go ask them, when was the last time they had three meals in a day? You go ask your friend, yeah, when was the last time you slept before 3 a.m.? Yo, don't, yo, don't be just told you. Because it gets like that at uni, but people only see the good at uni, fam. People only see the good, the lavish lifestyle, the student finance, student loan, and them things there. But uni ain't as easy as it seems, bro. In fact, yo, big up everyone that went uni. Whether you dropped out, whether you failed, whether you graduated, yo, big up yourself. Because uni is not easy, bro. You gotta try to balance studying. You gotta try to balance socials. You gotta try to balance your bank account. You gotta try to balance your love life. You gotta try to do all these things. I mean, fuck, yo, you cuss. I've got a bone to pick with you, lot. You might need to put a disclaimer before students start applying for university. You need money to put, yeah, somewhere. Caution. You may experience depression. Caution. You may experience hunger at uni. Caution. You may, I don't know, but there needs to be some sort of, like, this is what I'm saying. No one gives you an insight of how uni can really be from. You want to see the good part, the part in the hey, all them things there. But fam, being homesick, studying itself. Oh, uni is a mad thing. I swear down, uni is a mad thing. You see me, I went uni in Newcastle. I'm from Bradford, yeah. Let me give you a comparison. Moving from Bradford to Newcastle, yeah, is like me, me, yeah, starting a conference team and getting signed for a Premier League team, fam. Big up Bradford, don't get it twisted, yeah. But yo, apart from shisha and food, there ain't really nothing around here, bro, like that. Newcastle, though. Hey, Sin City, fam. Sin City, bro. When I was applying for uni for Northumbria, I was watching Jordan Shaw at the same time. I was thinking, rah, this is how these men are living. I said, that in the piece of the house scene, Scotty T, Marnie, Gaz, them man there, in their prime. I'm thinking, this is what you man do in Newcastle. I'm not gonna lie, at first, when I first started watching it, I used to think Newcastle has got his own language, bruv. Because I'm hearing Belaya, man. I'm hearing Ganyem. I'm hearing Bijou and these things there. And I'm thinking, yo, what are these man saying? Because I couldn't understand the thing. The Jody accent, yo, it's a mad thing. Until I actually went to uni in Newcastle, in itself, live in the flesh, and I heard the accent, I said, yo, this man can't be speaking English. What well, lie, man? How where, man? How where, yo? To this day, yeah, I even use how where in my vocabulary, fam. Yo, Newcastle has got a place in my heart. Fam. Big man thing. I loved it, fam. Uni now, uni was a motive. 
But like I say, I'm here to talk about now the side of uni that people don't see, you know what I'm saying? Yo, <laughs> let me break it down. Number one, flatmates, bro. Yo, you got to pray for them. You got to pray that your flatmates are sound, you're safe, you're not all civil. Because yo, <laughs> you could end up in a bookie's flat fam. If you and your flatmates don't get along, it's a long year. It's a long year. Me, Bob, yo, luckily I went to uni with two of my boys. So there's three of us that knew together, knew, knew each other, that were living together, and two randomers. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Josh, Leon, if you man are watching this or ever watch this, I'm sorry, fam, for what you man went through. If you man can go through <laughs> living with us man in first year, yo, you man can go through anything in life. Cause yo, that shit was not easy, fam. Oh my god. Like I said, we came from a city, yeah, where there's no mortars, no nothing like that, bro. Just shisha and, and food, fam. So when it comes to Newcastle, we said, yo, we're living it up from we're doing it proper. Yo, a week in, I even forgot I was at uni, me fam. I thought I was on a two-year holiday, bro, big man thing. As soon as I moved in, my mom was drinking me. Pep, make sure you're going packed. Make sure you take this out of there, this and that. I think, yeah, mom, don't worry, I'll get it patterned. Bro, I didn't unpack till like two weeks in, fam. The only thing that I unpacked here was my bed sheets and them things there, my pillow to sleep, bro. I was too excited. The moment I touched down, bro, I wasn't thinking how far away is the uni. I wasn't thinking how far away, how far away is a, is a shop fam for food shop and them things there. I was thinking where's Biju? I was thinking where's the motive? And my man, they were thinking the same. Yo, the moment you touch down at uni, it's a mad thing. But as I was saying, flatmates, bro. Yo, so all three knew each other. And there were two randomers, yeah. Josh, yo, big up yourself. It was cool, fam. Leon, Osman didn't really get on. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it, fam. Yo, he didn't like Osman. We didn't like him. Now that I'm deeper and I'm more mature, I hear why he didn't like us. Because Osman was annoying. Hey, every day more is. Pre's there. After's there. Oh, bro, Leon, now, nah, big man thing. My bad, innit? To an extent, innit? Cause yeah, 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 yeah. Living with us was dangerous, fam. Every time we didn't care about noises, we didn't care about anything. It was a mad thing. This is why I say you gotta pray that your flatmates are sound, bro. Cause if you don't, it's a long, long year. In fact, yo, <laughs> till this day, I am convinced, yeah, that COVID, yeah, started in a uni kitchen. COVID. Started in a uni kitchen. Bob, I've seen bacteria, fungi, alumni, all them scientific words. I've seen it all at uni, bro. Mold. Bro, I didn't think I could see, like, oh, bro, oh, uni, nah, nah, yo, honestly, you got prayer. You got prayer, your flatmates are sound or clean or them things there. And people are going to say, yeah, but I can be clean. It's all right. It does not matter. It does not matter how clean you are. It's about your flatmates. Yo. Oh, uni flats, yeah. You need to have a caution on the door as well, fam. Caution, you may get asthma. Yeah, enter at your own risk. Because I've seen some nasty kitchens. You be thinking, rah, people be living like this. But I was them people too. I get it. Bro, rotors, clean rotors don't work at uni. That's just there for decoration, bro. For us, though, anyways, bro. We try to set up a rotor, yeah, for people to take the bins out. Yo. If you're at uni or been to uni, you already know how much of a task, yeah? Taking bins out, fam. You ask someone to take a bin out, bruv, they look at you as if you asked them to go find the cure for, 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 for flipping COVID or something like that, bruv. They, they look at you, yeah? Like you just ask them, bruv, to, to, I don't know, send send you a grand or something, bruv. They're looking at you all baffled, like, bruv, it's taking a bin, simple thing. Nobody wants to do it, bro. At uni... I haven't contemplated putting part-time bin man in my in my, in my in my CV, in my Instagram bio fam. Cause I was doing this for, yo, I was taking bins for time. Not gonna lie, Joe Sunny was do, doing it as well. Don't get it twisted fam. But our flatmate wasn't really on it like that, especially Leon fam. So it got to a time now where I'm thinking, yo, I've taken the bins out five days out of seven, yeah? This guy just lacking fam. He's not doing anything fam. What's going on? So do you know what I did? I'm petty in it, bro. I said, bro, if you're not gonna listen, 
I take your bins out on your terms. Say no more. I should grab the bin bags now and just dash it outside his room, fam. Yo, you used to get like that. Because the bins all stinking up, the flies start coming through. It's nasty, bruv. But this is what you got to see at uni. People don't tell you about this side of uni, man. You only see the the the, 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 the living life, you know, the mortgage, the clubbing, the student finance. You don't see flatmates, bruv. Flatmates can be beef. You can wanna beef your flatmate, bro. Yo, cutlery, bro. Hey, oh my god. Cutlery. I went to uni, yeah, with three forks. I left uni with black like 12. I'm not even ashamed of it, you know why, bro? Because yo, if you're gonna steal my cutlery, bro, I'm gonna tax yours too, fam. It got to a point even where I started labeling my shit, bro. I was putting PK on my forks. I'm thinking, is that what? What are really doing? Even the man name as well, Joe Sunni, well, yo, we used to wash our thing and take our stuff into our rooms, bro. It was a mad thing. So, yo, if you're going uni, like I said, and you might know already, bro, if you're at uni, you know, from cutlery, keep that shit in your room, bro. If you put it in the kitchen, that's your fault, fam. If it gets taxed, that's your fault, bro. Because that's how it starts, bro. One time I said, you know what, Josh, I'm going to borrow your fork. I'll wash it as soon as possible. Yeah, ASAP thing, I'll wash it. I forgot, fam. That fork was left in that sink for time. By the time, yo, when Josh is even asking, yo, I don't really know who used my fork. I'm thinking, right, it's too late. Now I can't even own up to this, bro. But that's how it gets, bro. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it later. When you get into that habit, I'll do it later. That applies for uni. I'll do it later. I'll go to the next lecture. Bro, don't get into that habit, bro, because they're only going downhill. But nah, like I said, yo, cutlery is a mad thing as well. Plates, bowls. I'm looking at my bread and I'm thinking, right, when do you get a new bowl? <laughs> Little no, it's, it's next month's bowl, fam. It gets like that at uni, that's what I'm saying. Cutlery, keep that shit in your room, fam. What else is there? Yeah, the mess thing is all noise, fam, hey. Especially in first year, I'm not gonna lie, but was man, we, bro, we didn't have any consideration, fam. The more is all happening, 24th, bro. It got to the point where now, Leon's getting vexed at us, man. Obviously, right, like, get it. But because the way he put it across, though, was like, yo, this guy's belaying us, man, for real. What's going on? So what do those petty guys do? We just make even more noise, fam. Some days it was deliberate, and some days it wasn't. But, bro, like I said, yo, Leon, my bad, in it, bro? If you're able to go through living with us, man, you can go through anything in life. Yo, another thing, fam. You know, flat cest is a thing, fam. Flat cest. Yo, do you know, whatever you do, yeah, be sleep with your flatmate yo that's a recipe for disaster bro i'm telling you right now it seems all fun and games i've never done it bro yeah but i know my people that have and it's been a long year fam long year i see man then get sabotaged fam because obviously they slept with the flatmate because you're living together you kind of you see each other every day you get attached whatever whatever so the moment you cut it off now i've seen my own boy fam yeah bring a girl back to his flat, yeah, his flatmate that he slept with heard it now. She's come through and cock block, fam. She sat in the kitchen, oh, you're chilling. Her oh, saying no more, I'm gonna chill too. It's a mad thing, I'm telling you, bro. Do not sleep with your flatmate because it's only gonna go west, bro. That shit don't last, bro. I'm pretty certain there's 99% chance, yeah, that that shit won't last, bro. I've never seen anyone sleep with a flatmate and hold it down for the rest of the year, fam. Big man thing. Don't do that. Don't get yourself into that trap there. But nah, uni, bro. Yo, I love uni. This one here, I'm even going to have to break it up into different, different, different episodes. This one, flatmates. I'm going to talk about course mates. I'm going to talk about where student loan drops. I'm going to... Ah, bro, I could speak about uni for time. I shit you not. Uni is a madness. Uni really is a madness. Bro, uni is the only place probably where you can see your flatmate or brethren or even you yourself make a full meal at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. bro, when people are sleeping. Making a full meal. How come my boy texts me at 2.30? Bro, pimp, I'm putting some pizza in the oven, you want some? Me, my dumbass, I'm, I'm awake as well for what, I don't know what reason. I'm like, yeah, say no more. Put the chips in as well. We're having full meals. 2.30, bro. But at uni, that's normal, bro. That is normal. I'm gonna talk about it all, cooking. If you think you're a chef, say no more. Until you get to uni, you see, you ain't got time to cook, bro. 
You pasta will be your best friend. Eggs and milk will be your best friend. Simple meals, oven food, pizza, chips, bro. Nuggets and them things there will be your best friends. There ain't no fine dining. You ain't gonna be making up steak and them things there. I've heard it all before. Oh yeah, but I can cook. I'm gonna cook so much. No way! You ain't gonna find time because you're gonna be hungover, tired. Oh, them things there, dude. All on takeaways, fam. I'm telling you right now. Oh, it's a mad thing. Like I said, man, y'all, don't get it twisted, bro. When you're seeing your people at uni doing up bottle shows and sparkles and, you know, they might living independently. Bro, uni's not easy, fam. It really is not easy, bro. At university, I can probably count on my hand the amount of times I had breakfast, fam. Some days, yeah, I used to go for breakfast. I used to go on a walk for breakfast, fam. Lunch? Yeah, I'm either eating out or I'm sleeping for lunch. Dinner, I'd eat dinner. Dinner's probably the only thing there, but dinner, if you're having one, two meals a day at uni, you're living lavish, bro. I shit, you know, you're living lavish, bro. Because anything above that, uh, uh, yo, you ain't got time, bro. You got all things in your head. You think you're hungry, your stomach is there yelling, yeah, growling. You're thinking, right, what am I having for cruise? I'm not joking. University, oh, it's such an experience, man. But like I say, it's not as easy as what people think. So big up every single person that's gone to uni, yeah. And don't say anything there, bro. Because that shit is not easy, fam. Like I said before, whether you dropped out, only went there for a week, failed, graduated, yo. Round of applause, bro. Because, bro, even parents and African parents especially need to see this, bro. When you go to uni, it's not just books and studies 24-7, bro. You gotta understand, yo. You gotta have a social life as well, you know. You gotta balance socials, chilling with your flatmates, your people, motives, the whole thing. But nah, African parents just think, yo, they're going to uni, just studying 24-7. It's not, man. It's not, bro. It's not like that. But uni is a wonderful experience, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is gonna be one of my many podcasts that I'm gonna speak about, bro. Banter rants and all things hot topics, bro. But now, nah, man, I'm going to round this one off. Uh, like I said before, man, show some love to your boy. Subscribe to the channel. Like, comment. Get onto my socials, man. Yeah, I'm going to attach it here, here, here. Follow the Zero Filter thing. Follow my personal as well. And yo, this is just the start, man. I'm just getting started. But yeah, big love to everyone showing love already, man. Your boy is out. <laughs>